Apple as well. That's the other stock which is higher. And Reema joins in to tell us about the initiating coverage that is coming from City. Reema. Thanks so much for that. So first, just a quick word on Apple India. Now, Apple India is an ad tech platform which helps with your mobile and digital marketing. So basically, if you are an advertiser and you want to sell your product, you will contact Apple and give you and give them a share of your marketing budget and they will help you gain customers or users. So now Apple India focuses on four key segments, E, F, G, H. E stands for e-commerce, edtech, entertainment. F stands for fintech, FMCG, food tech. G stands for gaming, groceries, government. H stands for healthcare, hospitality, travel. Now, the company did go through a bit of a slow patch because of the funding winter for many of the startups, and therefore, they had gone slow on user acquisition or customer acquisition. Then even their GST on gaming had hit them because they do cater to gaming also. But now, City has come out with a note, and they're saying that the company is a beneficiary of increasing digital and mobile ad spends. Some of the strengths of Apple, and these are noteworthy considering that they are competing with the likes of Google, Meta, Amazon, and Apple in this particular space. They're saying that Apple India has a connection with over 3 billion connected devices. They have partnerships with uh, you know, mobile OEMs like Samsung, Xiaomi and other mobile operators which allows the company to directly communicate with the device. They're also allowing enterprises, that's your advertisers, to directly help in advertising in regional languages in India or come up with personalized ads, largely more in tier 2, tier 3 cities. And their m and track record has also been fairly decent and that's helped them gain in in the developed markets only. So they have diversified away from India a bit. So City has initiated coverage. It's a target price of 1600 They expect the top line to grow ahead of the industry growth rate. They also expect margins to expand by 300 basis points from 16% to 19%. And they go on to say the valuations at 47 time is below their long-term average of 56 time. But remember, just as a you know, noteworthy risk, they are competing in a crowded space where the likes of you know, Google, Meta, Apple, Amazon control 70% of the digital marketing spend. Back to you. Got it. All right, Rima, but stay with us. Brokerage House Bernstein as well as 